concept of programmable matter really is a nanotechnology concept where we can create things uh, atom by atom and there are already paradigms that have been defined if you can build things at, at that scale, uh, you can build things that will reconfigure themselves. The idea of foglets goes back a couple decades, which are basically tiny little robots that connect to each other and they're intelligent and they can reconfigure themselves, kind of like transformers, but at a really microscopic level. So really a, a couch can reconfigure into a chair, into a bicycle, into a person, uh, into an avatar representing someone else. Uh, you will then be able to actually transform yourself, project yourself into a space that's far away. Uh, that's the whole concept of an avatar. Just that will come pretty, will become sooner. I think within 10 years you'll be able to actually project yourself somewhere else without nanotechnology, but pretty realistically. It'll look like you and you'll feel like you're there. Once we have programmable matter at the nanotechnology level, you could reconfigure yourself into a completely different person. So you could look like you ordinarily do with your biological body, or you can look like someone else and reconfigure yourself. So it brings this sort of morphing ability, which is readily doable in virtual reality, to real reality. But that's a, probably a 2040s scenario. I would say within 10 years, you'll be able to project yourself as an avatar, and you could also there look somewhat different. Um, virtual reality, though, where you don't have to actually create physical things, you can be together with someone else, and ultimately virtual reality, certainly within a decade, will be very realistic, and you can be someone else. Uh, I did a little demonstration of this in 2001 with my daughter at TED, and I was wearing magnetic sensors and the computer picked up all my movement and in real time it did motion tracking which was a new thing then uh, in real time on a large screen catered, created a life size somewhat realistic at least for that era this was you know 16 years ago uh, avatar of a young female rock singer Ramona and a band came on stage, and then I sang White Rabbit and a song I'd written myself. My daughter, who was then 13, was turned into the male backup dancer, who happened to be Richard Saul Werman, who was the impresario of Ted at that time, uh, not known for his hip-hop kicks. And his avatar was very realistic. The theme, though, was you could be someone else in virtual reality. And ultimately, this will be quite easy to do, uh, so a couple could become each other uh, and you can experience uh, reality from the perspective of someone else. And ultimately, not only can you project yourself as someone else, maybe you want to project yourself as some movie star that you think your partner will like, uh, but she may actually transform your image to, to yet someone else, maybe some other movie star that she likes better. Uh, so these are... So that's virtual reality. That's coming in the next decade. But programmable matter where you can really transform at a really atomic level, that's kind of a 2040 scenario.